I am speaking with. I'm Douglas Crockford. And Douglas, people know you as? Um, they, they call me the guru of JavaScript, but I don't think that's quite true. I'm more of a Mahatma. Okay, well, Mahatma Crockford. Uh, you're going to be giving a session today on uh, programming style, and I'm just sort of switching here so because the light just came up and you were back a little bit. You're giving a session today on programming style. What is the style that either you're recommending or helping, or how you're suggesting people find their style? Uh, style is often considered to be the part of a program that the compiler ignores. And so given that it's not significant to the compiler, you can do anything you want. It's just personal taste. Um, but it turns out that programming style can have a critical influence on your error rate. And reducing your error rate is the most effective thing you can do to make yourself more productive. So the qualities that you want to look for in a programming style are things which will help make your programs more perfect. Well, then let me ask you, what do you do to make your programs more perfect? Um, I wrote a program called JSLint, and it reads all of my programs and tells me in detail what I'm getting wrong. And that turns out to be extremely helpful. All right, and is there anything else that you do to your programming style to make it uh, perfect? Or maybe just make your programming easier? Well, the, the, um, you know, you can think of a bug as being a needle in your program. Um, so if you want to be able to find them easily, you need to make your program look less like a haystack. And a good style will help you do that. Ah, that's a really, really good pro, uh, point. So you were also mentioning that monads are a key part of this process. It, what are monads? And you said you were having a hard time explaining it, and I'm hoping you'll be able to explain it now. Monads are mysterious. They're a, um, an idiom or a, a, a pattern that can be used in higher order programming. Um, and they come with a curse. And that curse is that once someone understands what a monad is, they lose the ability to clearly explain what it is. So I'm going to be talking about this dilemma today. So you can't clearly explain what a monad is at all? And how does one with more understanding lose, lose understanding of uh, how to explain it to others? You'll just have to come to my session. All right, well, people watching this video will be uh, seeing this way after your session actually happened. So is there any way that you can possibly describe it to me? Uh, they should curse themselves if they are not here. Is there a Wikipedia page that explains this? Uh, no, but there's some stuff on GitHub. You can look for that. Excellent. All right. Well, let me, let me go back to programming style again. Um, are there other styles that you've been impressed by, by what other people are doing? And you haven't adopted it, but like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the first style that impressed me was from a book called The Elements of Programming Style by Kernigan and Plogger. Um, that book was about Fortran and PL1, so it hasn't aged well. But some of the principles they came up with are amazingly good and still hold today. Excellent. Hey, uh, Doug, thank you so much for your time. And uh, you are giving, I think, the second most popular presentation today. So congrats on that. Oh, damn it. <laughs>